is Saturday. That means a one thing. Today is Amazon Custom Returns Electronics Pallet Video Day. Every Saturday is my favorite kind of pallet video, electronics and goodies. So there can be video games, there could be office supplies, there could be vinyl records, music, DVDs, uh, electronic gadgets, gizmos, PC stuff, computer stuff. There can be some cool stuff electronics sometimes. And uh, I'm excited about this. These two boxes weighed about 40 pounds, actually 45 pounds and 40 pounds. So 85 pounds of electronics to open up. So we'll do one box in this video and everybody wants to know what is the cost of this pallet? This, the total amazon.com MSRP was $2,263. That is the full price if everything was brand new, but it's not this custom returns. There's used, there's new, there's damaged, there's salvage, and everything in between. My cost, the liquidation price, which includes the price, taxes, fees, buyer's premium, $315. So I had to pay up more for this one this week because prices tend to kind of roller coaster in liquidations. Sometimes electronics, the prices just start spiking. It could be reasons of people got in a stimulus check or something and it makes prices spike. So I had to pay more than I like paying for pallets, but I wanted to bring electronics on Saturday like I always try to do. So here we go. You ready for this? Let's crack this bad boy. Let's see what we got in this first box. I need to rub this knife of this new pallet. So to start off, I'm actually going to give you an overhead view of what I'm looking at in the first box. So if you do not want to see any spoilers of what's in this box, go ahead and fast forward about 30 seconds and you will avoid anything you don't want to see. So do it now. And here we go. Just open it up, overhead shot. Um, electronics, this right here, this is a like a shipper for vinyl records list. It's pretty thick, so it's probably going to be probably a record set, I'm thinking. Then I'm seeing down here, electronics, like a bow stitch, pencil sharpener. Oh, that is a Nintendo Switch game. I see the logo. That is Nintendo Switch right there. We got some covers on top. Oh, that's another record right, right here too. So yeah, let's already see it. Records, N ooh, Nintendo. That's actually a good game right there on top. Actually, there's, there's more records down here. So yeah, looks like a pretty good palette. So here we go, first item in this new box. Let's go ahead, let me do this record right on top. And it slid out of it, <laughs> disregard that. So record right on top, this was what is inside of it. It slid right out of it when I pulled it out. Let me get rid of that. We have the Moody Blues live at the BBC, 1967 to 1970. So this is a one, two, three LP set. Actually, here is the original, like the cover that was also on the record. This says it's actually, it's limited edition and it says it's numbered. Probably on the back. Yeah, this is number 527 made. Of course, I have no idea how many they actually made of it. This is number 527 three records in this. So this is probably gonna sell for a little bit more money than a lot of records do because most records I do sell locally now. Um, I just have a lot of buyers locally who buy records for me in bulk now. But yeah, this uh, sells on Amazon new for $42. So I will probably try to sell this used for about $25 locally. One of my buyers will snatch it up like that. It won't last long. <laughs> Let's see, oh. We have a we have a cracked, broken um, MacBook Pro 15 inch like a uh, outer case, and there's a big arrow on this that somebody wrote, and the whole thing's cracked. So I mean that's that's not sellable. Let's see. We have a cover two for Ghost Tech for a VG 630, or I think I just butchered that. V30, just a clear, just a clear case, a kind of jelly case. Okay, I go ahead and pull this out. It's right on top. It's looking at me. 
we have the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Will it be in there? Yep, it is in there. Let me go ahead and let me pull out my handy dandy Nintendo Switch. And we're actually going to try this thing out live on camera. Because I've had a few games that had the label switched on them. You know, somebody would buy a brand new expensive game. Then they would just return an old crappy game that really had no value to it. Okay, it is in the system. Yep, it pulled it up. It says, of course, you got to download the software for it. But it pulled it up. Actually, I'll go ahead. Actually, I'll, I'll play it first. And th this game is like freaking awesome. I'll probably play it <laughs> for a while before I sell it. Let me go ahead and let me start downloading the updates for it. So cool. Zelda. Um, let's see how much it sells for in used condition on Amazon. And then you kind of gauge like on a eBay than what it sells for. I just use Amazon to look up price because it's quicker on Amazon because Amazon app has a barcode scanner that's pretty accurate. Cool. Sells on Amazon for $49.99. So new for $50. Use condition, probably about $30. Maybe as high as $35. Um, so that's kind of exciting. It's already done downloading the updates. That was really fast. Yeah, it is. So there's the Zelda. Starting up. There we go. Zelda. Okay, it works. Next, we have Bow Stitch Electric Pencil Sharpener. If this thing works, if it's not burn up, you know, about six to eight bucks for that item. This box is, I mean, it is full. So there's a lot of stuff in this box. So I won't diddle too too much on each item. Well, of course, except the for the that game I just tried out. Okay, so we have a a case with a little holder on there for an iPhone. Probably fits my phone, I bet. Yeah, it's for the iPhone uh, 10s case with a little pouch to put. Is there money in it? Nope, it's empty. You put money, credit cards, whatever you want, into the back of that. Pretty cool, kind of nifty. A lot of these cases like this, I sell pretty easily for about ten bucks. They do sell, and that will be a good seller. A lot of people like those kind of cases. You can like multi-use them, not just your cell phone, but for other reasons too. Oh, here we go. Best time in the box. Computer printer paper. Keep going. <laughs> not too much time on that. We have, oh, nice. We have the Beatles on air live at the BBC, volume two, disc one and disc two. Packaging this thing is kind of crunched. Booklet. Oh, it's missing one of the CDs. That stinks. It has disc one. It is missing disc two. So that really hurts value. It's possible that I can still sell this on eBay you know, just the first or just the first disc, because there's somebody out there who has the second disc that needs the first disc. So this, it, it still will sell, but um, you know, obviously not for full price. And then we have mystery. Oh, we have a replacement screen for a phone. So a lot of those, they're not really super expensive. A lot of times they're already damaged. <laughs> Whenever you get them, let's pull this big thing out. It's been staring at me. Some kind of a record set. What is this? Oh, I. See. Oh, nice. We got Abbey Road. Three LP anniversary edition of Abbey freaking Road. Whoa. Ah, uh, this is gonna be a hard to sell because I've always been a big fan of the Beatles, and something like this that I get, I don't have. I'm honestly probably going to have to keep this. I mean, straight up. I don't know how I could actually sell this. I don't know. I probably won't. But just just for just for giggles, let's see actually what this sells for on Amazon. I already do already have Abbey Road just on LP, but it's just, you know, the, the normal Abbey Road. This is the 
uh, multi-record set with different sessions, different takes, different uh, different versions of songs you never heard before. Because this sells new for $72 on Amazon. It's the 3 LP Deluxe Anniversary Edition. Came out in uh, 2019, came out last year. Um, so it sells new for 72, used probably about 50, or it'll go into my record collection. I'll probably go into my, my collection, I bet. <laughs> it might. Good chance that it might. No guarantee, but it might. Okay, we got a high speed uh, HDMI cable. Not super exciting. Just a cable. Okay, next. There, go. So we have a stack of records right here also. Let me pull some of these out. Get those off. Oh, another Beatles. What else we, oh, we got more printer paper. Let me get that out of there. Not exciting. Need more printer paper in here. Does not look like it. No. Okay. I do see another Nintendo Switch game here, though. Cool. Okay, so next record. I actually already own this record. One of the best Beatles record of all time. It's probably like my top one, if, or top two at least, possibly my favorite one. Good condition. One record. There's the inserts and stuff for it. That's probably going to be good, you know, 15, 16 bucks uh, local sale there. Yeah, I won't keep that because I actually I already have it. This is Lana Del Rey. Looks like you got a double LP record. So, probably another good, like, Records I got like 12 bucks or so. Here we go. Oh, Tom Petty Heartbreakers. I've never really been a Tom Petty fan. Not the biggest Tom Petty fan. I mean, he's okay. But yeah, I'll sell that, the, the Tom Petty. I'll sell that locally for like 12 bucks or so. Then we have the Flying Lotus. There's a big cut on the entire back of the sleeve. Wonder if it cut the record. Doesn't look like it. We got Flying Lotus. Whatever Flying Lotus is, I really don't know. I don't know. And then we have Cave In Final Transmission. Have no clue what that one is either. It says, new full length from Cave In, spacious, urgent, and enveloping, heartfelt, and heart trending. In other words, quintessential Cave In. Never heard you guys, but all these records I always try them out before I sell, make sure that they play okay. And sometimes I've actually found some that I freaking loved them and I kept them for my own collection. And we have King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. I've heard of this group. That sounds familiar. I think I've actually listened to them on iTunes. That name sounds familiar because it's a very odd name. King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Okay, let's see. Go back in. We have... What are, what are you? Just polybagged by Amazon. Oh, it's a little uh, earpiece for like... If you have like a home phone. You can do kind of like that. Okay. Let's see, what's this? King Diamond Songs for the Dead Live. But that's a freaking awesome CD right there. That's a three disc CD. Cool. That's nice. And then we have, we got a mystery box. Hold on. We got a mystery box. What do we have? Oh, we have some gaming. We have a gaming headset. It's like an, it's just an off-brand, very kind of kind of cheap. Ear parts are extremely small, so just a cheapy headset, stuff like that. I, I, I sell locally for like about five bucks or so. I actually haven't said it for a while. About five bucks used to be like one of my catchphrases. About five bucks. Let's see what else we got. We have Defender case for iPhone iPhone six. It's an old phone. This probably be lucky to get its used too. About five bucks. What are you? Oh, it's another 
Another one of these fancy uh, phone cases. You can put, is there money in it? Money, money, money? No, no money. Brand is Just Must. You ever heard of the brand Just Must? Me neither. But uh, yeah, it has a nice presentation. Actually, you can actually wear your phone around your neck. So this would actually be great to go to concerts in. Actually, it has a neck strap for it. That's actually kind of nice. If you, you know, wear it to a concert around your neck underneath your shirt, you would not lose your phone, guaranteed. So that's actually pretty nice. That must, you know, that's probably a good 10 bucks on that one. Some of these cases I'll sell for five or something like that. Oh yeah, I'll charge like 10 bucks for, for that kind of a case. That's a specialty case right there. Let's see. We have, oh, no, Nintendo game. There's, there's one in there too, but there's another one. This is Pokemon Sword, Pokemon Shield, double pack. No way. No. Wow, okay, so somebody bought this on Amazon, okay? They returned it. Look at these things. They're still sealed, right? Somebody took a knife. This is the old Walmart theft trick that people used to do because I actually worked at Walmart Electronics about 20 years ago. And with CDs, they did the same thing. They'd take a small slit. They would slit it just enough so that so they, they could slide out the CD or, or the DVD. So somebody cut it just enough so that they could put their finger in there, pop the game out, let the game fall out, they did to both of them. They put the finger in there, pop the game out, put it back in here, and send it back to Amazon. And uh, if you don't actually look at it closely enough, you would see this and you'd say, like, I, I, I just did. Like, holy, these are still factory sealed. I was thinking, man, this is like 50 bucks a game. But no, customer return scam. It's been a scam that's been around, like I said, for decades now with uh, cds and dvds and games and stuff you know so yeah it is not in there i'll actually will keep this just like this so i can show my wife what i'm talking about too let me actually you probably can't see it that well let me actually take another video of what i'm looking at right now oh not a photo video N another little shot for people at home so this is the inside of the case you see there the game's supposed to be in that container part right there. It is missing. The game is not in there. They slid it just enough. Same here. They slid it. See, it still has the factory wrapper on the game. But they slid it just enough. If you look closely, it's been slit. You put a finger in there, spread it apart just enough. And you can see the game should be in that little plastic piece right in there and it is gone so they popped it out and kept the game so customer return scam that stinks when that happens but it happens so all i can do is i'll keep these empty cases and uh i'll use these as replacement cases because eventually i'll get a switch game where the case is just beat up or it's missing a case and i got replacement cases at least but this is probably i bet you two of these games together that's probably a hundred dollar game i bet that's probably a hundred bucks right there. Lost it. That stinks. Okay, here we go. That's a big one. Here's a 12.9 inch iPad Pro Slimbook wireless keyboard and detachable case. This is a big old thing right here. They're usually not this large. Wow, that's really nice. Like that's really nice. Yeah, that I guarantee you that is not cheap. That's gonna have some value to it. The zag part of it, the protector case is still all wrapped up in the packaging, also. That's almost like whenever you attach it to your uh your iPad Pro, it pretty much makes it almost into like a to like a uh, like a MacBook Air almost. But let me actually look this thing up and see price on this. So on Amazon, I'm looking at this thing, is actually on sale right now for it's actually a lot cheaper than I thought it was gonna be. It's only $59.99 right now. It's actually pretty cheap. But Zag Slimbook Ultra Thin Case, hinge with a detachable Bluetooth keyboard for Apple iPad Pro 12.9 inch. 60 bucks new. This is open package item. Appears to be possibly in like new condition. 
Pie good still bet you 40 bucks, I bet. So that's actually a decent item. I'll take that in a heartbeat. Let's see, we have screen protectors for a Kindle Fire screen protector. Then we have 4K Ultra HD The Equalizer. That's actually an awesome movie. I sent by I probably sent like 20 times. It is in there. There is a downloadable code. Ultra HD. And then don't show the code. And here's the Blu-ray. Cool. Let's see. Big oh, this is a cord for a microphone. Microphone cord. Wireless touch keyboard. Oh, is this like kind of like a like a MacBook, kind of like a trackpad keyboard? How many times is this thing taped? Sometimes too much tape is not a good thing. That's nice. So it has a keyboard and a trackpad. Cool. Receiver inside. It's in there. Cool. And a trackpad. Awesome. It's actually pretty neat. I've never seen one like that that had a, a trackpad built into the keyboard that you can buy as like a replacement for your current keyboard. Pretty cool. Let's see. I think this has the video game right here I just picked up. We got a wireless 2-in-1 adapter. And have just another uh, iPhone case, like a knockoff OtterBox case. Then we have Ella Fitzgerald sings the Cole Porter songbook. Then Jeff Lynn Elo out of nowhere. Then we have a 7 in 1 Type C USB Gray Hub. That's pretty nice. Actually, I'll probably keep this as a backup to what I currently have. Yeah, I'm. I'll, I'll keep that for myself. And then here we go. Nintendo Switch Minecraft. Now, come on. It's got to be in there. Oh, okay, that one's in there. Good, good. Cool. So you see that, like, the other cases? Remember when I opened it up? This air right here, it was empty. You know, it looked like that. Supposed to have the game in there. Um, so... My Switch now, I, I kind of buried it. So actually, I won't try this game out, but yeah. Uh, Minecraft, so much it actually sells for on Amazon. Kind of gauge prices live in the video. So it sells for 33 bucks new. So probably about like, what, 20 25 for Minecraft, I bet, on eBay. So I mean, still gets me back to where I need to be. Let's see, we got Kids Bop. LG V20 Outer Box Defender Case. Let's see. It's used. It's got scratches on it and stuff, so that won't sell for a whole lot. And we're getting down to the bottom of the box right now, actually. Let's see. We have we have 4A alkaline batteries. These are the super small 4A, not triple A. These like like these are like the uh, the quad A batteries. This very specialty battery. Can't get it shut. We have a four part, four port charging station. No brand on it. Probably not very expensive, but uh, yeah. Let's see. Probably like seven items left-ish. We have Alltech little Bluetooth speaker. And Auto scope camera, cool. Little camera you can put down to like a small space and see what you're doing. If you're working on anything small, you can you can use that to go into like small places that you can't see in. Then we had oh, this is just a USB cable, and then Dire Straits Brothers in Arm 20th Anniversary Edition CDs there. Three things to go. Mystery box. It's taped shut. Let's see what's in there. 
Oh, it's an entire thing of 3M brackets. You can put these onto the wall. They have little clips on them. You can hang stuff from them. So, little just wall hanger item. <laughs> hang up your baseball hats or hang up your hangables. Let's see, we have, looks like a replacement controller. Yep, it is an off-brand replacement controller for your PlayStation 4. Off-brand controller. Feels almost like, like one that was genuine, but it's not genuine. It's, uh, you know, it's kind of like a, I don't know if Mad Cats is still in business, but back when I was younger, 20 years ago, Mad Cats was a company that made most all of, like, the, the, uh, the replica, like, you know, like, knockoff. Uh, items that people used for the gaming systems. It was all like Mad Cat stuff. Here we go. Last item in the first box. We have Xbox chat headset. Packaging on this is kind of destroyed. Kind of. And uh, let's see how bad it looks. Oh, it's it's used. I mean, packaging is just, packaging on this thing is just not in the best condition. So that is the first box of this 2000 $263 Amazon customer returns electronics palette. So of uh, this first box, did I get back all my money? Probably, I'm guessing. I, I'd have to go, I can't, probably. But there is still one box left from this uh, $2,000 palette. We'll see the next box next Saturday. So stay tuned for that and see what is in the following box. It actually weighs five pounds less than this box. So this one did have a few video games in it. Customer return scam in it, and um, you know had some cool records actually. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, we had the Beatles uh, Abbey Road record, another Beatles record. So it had some cool stuff in it still. It's not some cool stuff. So yeah, so I will see you next week for another episode of this part two. Always, uh, if you want to buy this stuff, if it's for sale online, it'll be in my eBay store. If it's not listed right now, it's here because it hasn't been listed yet or it's already been sold, or it's not being sold online. So uh, the main stuff, you know, if it has value to it, it'll be on eBay. If it has no value to it, it won't be on eBay. It'll be sold locally. So also make sure you check out my secondary YouTube channel, Franchise TV. Right, I'm uploading right now about three times a week. So if you want to see more content from me on my other channel, uh, check it out, Franchise TV. Direct link down below. Below the link for my eBay store will be Franchise TV. So I'll see you next time, and I'm out.